hello everyone today we are going to work on this uh, AI character teams who can uh, fight each other so this red team yellow team and green team so these are like uh, the characters with same color belongs to the same team they don't shoot each other but they will shoot characters from other teams here is the demonstration this is not the final version i am going to make a lot more improvements to this so as you can see they are like moving around going to covers shoot each other flank trying to do various things uh, so this is what we are going to work on today enabling uh, fighting ai enabling combat between ai characters so i have actually increase the health level of each character to simulate this without dying so that's why they don't die uh, but in the real game they will not be able to take much shots but as you can see they have some dynamic combat behavior here without even without having a player right let's see how to work implement this today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for your support. All right, now to enable fighting AI and AI, uh, let me put the player character aside and let's start with two NPC characters. Uh, I'll put this guy over here and make him face the other character uh, to identify easily let me change the color to yellow right and if you remember I already set team this team ID I'll set the team ID of this character to 2 and let's simulate without playing now if everything is working these guys should start shooting at each other and as you can see it happens but they are not moving anywhere oh to test it for a longer time let me increase the health right so they will be keep shooting at each other for a longer period uh, okay now uh, why aren't they moving so if you check the AI behavior tree we have this uh, EQS QR queries to find move to location so here we are looking for a cover location and here we are looking for a flank location uh, if I open this cover location here um, we are using this uh, context EQS context lock actor so here what we are doing is we are giving a reference to whatever the lock actor AI character is currently focused on that means the opponent but actually there I what I have done is just returning a reference to player character because previously I only had the player character as an enemy character there were no shooting in between AI characters that belongs to two teams so what we can do is now let's go to the AI controller And here we keep a reference to the target actor uh, but this target actor is immediately cleared out when we lose uh, the sight to that actor that means here right uh, this part is not executed so let me read that so but we don't have uh, this locked actor which I have which I have set here so this is this locked 
adapter is what we are using when we are looking for a cover or when we are looking for a flank location like for searching so let's create let's duplicate this target actor this is just an actor object reference i'll call this locked actor by locked actor what it means is the opponent the ai character is currently locked onto like trying to shoot basically so i'll set that value also here set locked actor with the target actor and we are as i said we are not clearing out that value uh, but what we can do is uh, the reason we are not clearing out the locked actor in here is uh, because when we don't have a line of sight to the target actor still uh, AI character has the ability to search uh, uh, around the area that the character was before so that's why I didn't clear that out so therefore let's add the retriggerable delay here and set lock actor let's clear the reference the local reference like this mm, okay the reason to add a retriggerable delay is because we need to make sure if uh, while we are in this duration if player starts seeing the locked actor again we don't have to clear that out right now before clearing that out let's do a is valid check and see if we have a valid actor here in the target actor that means uh, that means we have seen while we are we have seen again while we are in this delay so we don't need to uh, delete if there is a value here otherwise we have to delete this that means even after the delay we haven't seen an enemy again right now we need a reference to this locked actor and we should return it as the context look uh, eqs context so for that what we can do is we have in this L lsai controller we have implemented the clm bpi controller here i'll add a new function uh, get locked actor output lock should be a object reference right now let's implement this here and simply return the lock that now in the so this is a lsa controller now when we try to get the context lock actor instead of the player from the actor we can get the control get lock actor right now let's see now these guys should be moving He died. Wait, didn't I say oh. the health value? Yeah, they are moving around. Oh. So they just don't stay idly in the same location while we while they are engaging in the fight. And one problem I have noticed here is uh, they have a tendency to bump into each other maybe it would be better if they keep some distance in between so here in this car when they find a cover location 
uh, what if we choose a cover location further away from the log data so it's log minus one let's make it plus one this is for the cover location and for the flag location also let's do the same and see what happens so they should be moving as far as away from each other while well, shooting now but if they don't see each other they will go and search see Okay, so this looks like a good fight actually. Um, oh, there has been player characters there. Let me put this guy away. Right, now let's see what happens if we have two characters. So these red guys are in the same team but they will not shoot each other they will only shoot in between red and yellow teams right so it is working basically Now we still have some issues like even though they collided each other in between they, they will not shoot the most closest enemy they will still be shooting at the enemy they are locked into we have some problems like that but this works so let's try let's implement another team let's make it uh, duplicate this I'll make them green and team number I'll assign three so different uh, characters will different colors will be shooting at each other because they have different teams okay so it is working but it's not perfect uh, we have to further improve this but our basic system is working okay after keeping the system running for a while you can see things like this happens so even though they are very close together <coughs> they are not shooting at each other and also their path is blocked they don't know how to move around each character so actually in order to uh, avoid bumping onto each other uh, move around uh, there is this uh, detour AI controller so here the parent class is AI controller but there is another AI controller called D2 Crowd AI Controller. Let's try using that as the parent class. If, if I do that, this bumping onto each other will be available. Let, let me simulate the battle a while. Right. 
now as you can see they don't like get blocked in certain locations they can always move around right uh, but it's still uh, they don't there is no way to like detect the closest enemy or like once they collide with with each other even though they don't see the other character they are not reacting to that so i'm going to work on such improvements on such things in future episodes and i'm going to stop this episode right here and i will do a lot more further improvements to this system and thanks for watching so as always project files will be available in the patreon page link could be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye